I'll meet you right there on that radio station uh, every morning, Monday through Friday at 5.30 a.m. Me and my co-host Charlie Corn right there at the Mother Church of Texas in Red Dirt Music in the uh, Dallas and Fort Worth markets. Y'all come on hang out with us. And I also want to say hi to do to all of my new friends and some old friends down in Beaumont, Texas, who are watching today. Uh, class of 96, Lamar University. Go Big Red, how to do Beaumont. It's good to be back in your neck of the woods. The CD is called Bright Work, a Manifesto of Rich O'Toole. And guess what? I found Rich O'Toole. Here he is, y'all. How, how you doing? How you doing, man? It's good to be in here. It's good to be I'm glad you made some great time. great crowd, yes. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? I love it. Um, thanks for stopping down the acoustic tour that you're in the middle of right now. Make I am, some time yes. for us, man. How's that treating you? It's awesome. You know, I wanted this to be, I've never done a tour, was just me and my guitar. Mm -hmm. We've been, me and the band, uh, we clocked, um, I asked, I guess the person that does our accounting, I said, how many, how many shows have I done full band? I just turned 30 in August, and I said, how many shows did I do since I was, started from A&M when I was 22 or 23, but on the road forever? I said, how many do we do? She said you did 1,100 full band shows, so I said, it's wow. time for uh, me to do an acoustic tour, I think. Right. <laughs> There's only so much you can take, you know, with six other grown men in a van forever, so. I know, and I can imagine <laughs> what that must be like, especially over 1,100 shows. You get to be really good buddies, or you get to be really big enemies yeah. one or the other. Yeah, I'm such a nice guy. That I thought I would always break up the fights. I'd never start them, you know. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, Somebody's got to be the mediator. Yeah, you know, and the, I think it was, you know, I, 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 love, I loved everyone I got along with that. Right. I, I really did, and I can't wait to go out and tour full band again. It's just, we've been in the studio working so much, and I wanted to uh, do some, some uh, you know, really cool acoustic broke down songs and play those live, and so it's been fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. You going to put another Bruce Springsteen tune on this one? Uh, I might. You know, we're not putting out a record. Me and Justin were talking, and uh, the album came out, A Bright Work in February. Mm -hmm. There's a Springsteen song on there called uh, Dancing in the Dark. Right. It's a really cool deal. And, uh, you know, the cool thing about that is he actually owns that one completely. He, he owns all of his music, mm -hmm. but um, I actually write the check out to Bruce Springsteen and mail it to him. Do you really? Yeah, isn't that cool? Do you mail it to his home address? No, I don't. It goes to a law address? office. You know, they want to, <laughs> right. right. But uh, yeah, I do get, I get to write his name on the check, which is un, you know, unusual. Usually write to a publishing company or something. So. Now, a lot of times, and, and some people understand this and others may not, um, you don't necessarily have direct contact with the songwriter. Right. It's just there's, there's ways of, of of getting around that right. in order oh, to be yeah. able to cut a song. But have you had direct contact with him? Is he no, familiar with No, he's an version? idol of mine. I don't know. I'd probably faint. What's Honestly, that? I'd faint, probably. I don't know. He's such an idol. Right. Like, him and Robert O'Keen were the reasons I started playing music. And he's such an idol of mine that I think a lot of times, you know, you don't want to meet your idols. Because um, as a kid, they're like the quarterback. You just have this... John Elway's sense of, of who they are. Mm -hmm. And when you're going out there and you're, you're a songwriter and, you, and you're living this lifestyle and you have such an image of who Bruce Springsteen is in your mind that when you go and if I finally met him and he's just having, you know, it's just one of those things where everyone has a bad day. I'm sure there's been, you met right. someone in the grocery store. The day you met him would be his bad day. Yeah, your kids are screaming and you're just like, what do you want? You know, and then <laughs> all of a sudden everyone thinks Justin, you know, the guy that he thought Justin Brazil was great is like, he's an angry guy I met at the grocery store. Yeah, you know? yeah, do not, yeah so, two things. Do not catch me in the Toys R Us or the grocery store. <laughs> exactly. I'm you right now. So I think, no, I, I don't know. If, I'd love to meet him, honestly. But no, there's, there's no, been no direct contacts. So. Um, you did the radio show with me a couple yeah. days ago, uh, the Texas Red Dirt Roads radio show. And we kinda, I kind of ask you, what did this bright work and manifesto, you know, those are some yeah. pretty, pretty high-end words that don't get thrown around a lot. So I ask you where that came from. And I was very, you know, we've, I've been on Twitter quite a bit and talking about Texas country and, Texas country to me is so, so dominant. It's, mm -hmm. it's becoming so real. And I think that I want it to be better. And I always want Texas country to be better because I grew up idolizing Jerry Jeff Walker and Robert O'Keefe and Pat Green. And, you know, I saw, I don't want to make Pat feel old. I saw my first Pat show when I was 16. I bought a $5 ticket at a Safeway. They were selling them there. And you had to get one from your Two parents. Two things that no longer exist. Safeway and $5 tickets. <laughs> Pat Green, I don't know, right? <laughs> And so I, uh, you know, I wanted, I always encourage people in Texas country that this is a new genre. This is something great. It's mm -hmm. big. It's bigger than we are. It's gotten bigger than we are. And look, you know, now you have, you know, a national show here you're doing. Um, it's so bright work is a word from the 1920s. They use it. I'm a big uh, nerd. I love um, The Great Gatsby. It's one of my favorite books. And um, to read that, and uh, Jay Gatsby would use the word bright work, meaning 
in the fact that when you back back in the day when you got your car polished and shined or your boat shined, mm -hmm. they call that bright work. Okay. So that means to make something stand out. There so it's a 1920s word they used, and then manifesto is just a you know ten different stories into diff ten different songs. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and I you know I encourage a young artist when they're making a CD to put a little more depth into it. Don't just have you and a beer bottle and an acoustic guitar there right. at the bar going, you know, text country so songs. So what do you think? Like, you know, get it going. I mean, I think you'll agree. You probably, with in those tweets, right. you, you stirred up a little bit of controversy. Do you think right, that it course, was probably yeah. uh, just a misunderstanding? Or what do you think it was that, that caused the controversy? You know, I, I think it was a lot of misunderstanding. And, uh, you know, a lot of times... There's growing pains, and I think mm -hmm. the Texas country is going to continue to go through growing pains as country music did. Mm -hmm. You know, Waylon Jennings and Willie Nelson weren't happy with country music in the 70s, and they left to go down to Texas. Right. And country music is humongous. Texas music is country music. It's just kind of on a different kind of sound, same with Red Dirt. Mm -hmm. So I think as you go through growing pains, you're going to disagree with some people on, on what they're doing. And, you know, in, in Texas country and Red Dirt, there's little, as you've seen, there's little clicks around Texas and you know, Oklahoma and Arkansas mm -hmm. and Kansas, they have their own little different cliques that they hang out with. And sometimes, you know, just like anything else, um, you disagree with what's right and what's wrong in the scene. And right. it came, you know, came to a head and uh, no really harsh words were said, but you know, we were, we were calling each other out and it was, sure. it was good. I, I liked it, it was real. Um, some of the people I've talked to that you know, we were into it with, you know, agreed on some level that mm -hmm. this is what happens. So. Well, you know, I, uh... I admire you for being able to uh, and being willing to stand up for your opinion because right. I firmly believe that everybody has a right to one, right. and not that necessarily is everybody gonna, everybody's going to always agree with that. Right. Uh, but it's great that you're willing to, to put your opinion out there. I think I'll also agree with you on the fact that um, what we have here in the Texas and Red Dirt music scene is very special, and right. and what we've what we've seen it become just here locally. Let's just say within this state right. uh, has been very successful. And you've seen it by touring, and I've seen it through radio and TV of how it's expanding nationally. But totally. And we have to nurse that right. and nurture that and always take care of that and making sure that we're putting our best foot forward. Right. And so, yeah, I think everybody, I would agree, always needs to put in their best effort. And not to say that anybody, somebody's not doing that. Right. Um, but I think if, if everybody will just continue to put out their brand of music and what they firmly believe in themselves, that regardless... Uh, the cream will always rise to the top. For sure. And, and that's what we've got to focus on. So. No, I think so, too. I mean, you know, I've, I've, and you've kind of been, you know, kind of like a, I guess, a, you know, a kind of a Fort Worth dad for me here. I always call you up and say, what do you think about this? And, and I appreciate Because you've been that, in there, man, you know, you've been lot. since day Thank one, you, you know, right. so. Well, I'm glad you're here, man. Uh, let's yeah. hear some of these songs. You want to? You got it. Sign my table for me. We'll come back on the other side. Rich O'Toole is going to play right here. Lone Star Road, brought to you by the Credit Union of Texas. Hang in there.